This is my friend, a male, male orchid bee, and his perch is right up there. And I've studied him here since, so oh, about 12 years ago. They'll actually find the same perch generation after generation with no continuity between them particularly. One can't show the other one where to go, but they pick a very specific place. It has to have some light. Some part of the day there'll be a wind current here and it will disperse the smells that this male is carrying on it and carefully putting on parts of his body, kind of like perfume, downwind. Downwind usually goes that way. From that direction, every once in a while another male will come. He'll get to about here and he'll hover below this male. So this male can't see him, can't perceive him in any way. But this male will come back here every once in a while and it'll fly in this area where another male might be. And if they encounter each other in one of these things, which usually happens maybe five, six times every morning, then they start flying around sometimes. Same plane, horizontal, but the speed changes a little bit and suddenly they're going face to face like this. Zoom, zoom. I've watched them do this up to 7,000 times until one of them gets tired and goes away. The other one goes back up there to the perch. That perch, when there's a bee on it, is the only place that bee can mate. In the whole forest, it's only there. Females, I've seen two in 38 hours of steady observation. They'll fly from downwind. They'll land right next to the male. Male will mount the female. They'll fly, blissfully mating in the air for about six seconds. They drop down, disengage, female takes off, male goes back to the perch, it's all over.